This week, Donald Trump rolled up five primary state wins and declared himself the presumptive Republican nominee. On Wednesday, he delivered a foreign policy speech in Washington, D.C. That speech was to launch a new Trump promised by the campaign. Somewhere along the way, campaign planners discovered that the words manage and Trump may not belong in the same sentence. Scott Thuman reports on the battle of the two Trumps. Now, my wife is constantly saying, darling, be more presidential. At some point, I'm going to be so presidential that you people will be so bored. Donald Trump's controversial assertions and often vulgar language have become his trademark. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. Right. She said he's a That's terrible. Terrible. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Former presidential uh, candidate Ben honor. Carson suggested Last there's another to side to him when he endorsed Trump in March. There are two different Donald Trumps. There's the one you see on the stage, and there's the one who's very uh, cerebral, sits there and considers things very carefully. You can have a very good conversation with him. Um, and that's the Donald Trump that you're going to start seeing more and more of right now. I think we're going to see an ongoing battle between the two Trumps. And you really see it playing out almost on a daily basis, the id versus the ego. Kenneth Vogel, a reporter for Politico, says the battle isn't just in Trump's own mind. So for a long time, he had this guy, Corey Lewandowski, who was the campaign manager. He represented Trump's id. He was the guy who said, let Trump be Trump. And that obviously went a long way. He almost clinched the nominee, got right to the verge of the Republican nomination. Then he brought in more seasoned operatives like Paul Manafort. He represents Trump's ego. He's going to be the one who says, no, you can't attack that guy. Uh, no, you have to read off a teleprompter for this speech. That's the battle that we see playing itself out, and I don't see an end in sight. On the campaign trail this week, Trump unleashed on his rivals in his usual bombastic style from calling Ted Cruz a failed senator. All he is is a guy that will go down and stand and filibuster for a day or two, and the other senators all look, when's he getting off the floor, Jim? <laughs> Guy's a pain in the ass. When's he getting off the floor? To mocking John Kasich's table manners. I have never seen a human being eat in such a disgusting fashion. This guy takes a pancake and he's shoving it in his mouth. He's like, it's disgusting. Do you want that for your president? I don't think so. On Tuesday night, after he swept five more states, he made it clear his outspoken style is here to stay. So why would I change? You know, if you have a football team and you're winning, and then you get to the uh, Super Bowl, you don't change your quarterback, right? So I'm not changing. But a day later, a different man. Mr. Trump went to Washington, this time more reserved, and on teleprompter. I will not hesitate to deploy military force when there is no alternative. But if America fights, it must only fight to win. In some ways, it's just so difficult to sort of see the two and see that the fact that they are coming from the same guy, they seem like totally different uh, Donald Trumps. Being too presidential, though, as described, could actually be a detriment to him. Yeah, if he comes across as a traditional politician, one who is poll testing his, his positions and one who is speaking only diplomatically about his rivals and about his critics, uh, I, I think that that could hurt his core brand. I will beat Hillary Clinton, crooked Hillary. I will beat her so badly, so badly. And lion Ted Cruz cannot beat her. He, has, he can't beat her. So far, it seems there's little danger of that happening. Well, I think the only card she has is the woman's card. She's got nothing else going. And frankly, if Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. It is as unpredictable as this election cycle, as Trump wrestles with which persona will get him to the White House. Can anyone manage Donald Trump? Yeah, that I think, talking to folks who are close to Donald Trump, that is the key question. And the answer that I've heard is largely no, that it's that Donald Trump is just going to be Donald Trump. In the end, he is going to be driven more by his own internal compass, and that compass does tend to point to the more fly-by-the-seat-of-the-pants Donald Trump.
Vogel told us that Trump is planning to unleash a multi-million dollar ad campaign in Indiana and California. A nod, perhaps, to the conventional approach that is advocated by Paul Manafort. In a couple weeks, we're going to do more on campaign money, but Trump has not had to spend a lot of money to get this attention and get this far. Well, you're right about that, not only in this country, but also in others. Because this presidential election is producing both fear and fascination, and when we come back, we'll drop in on a pub across the pond to hear what foreigners say is so worrisome about what's happening here in America.